What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today is the day. Finally have my Battle Arrow Hatch Mount Wing right here with me right now. And I'm going to do a unboxing and install video for you guys. Putting on this right here. Hopefully it's not that bad. There are no instructions at all. So I'm going to try my best here to explain how this wing will be installed. So I already went ahead and unwrapped a lot of the shipping material. Uh, it was packaged very well, um, but pretty much what you're going to see here is what you're going to get. So to start off, we have better hardware. It's all of the bolts and nuts you need. We also have included every kit. You're going to have your end plates. So these are the time attack end plates. We also have the boomerang end plates, which is a lot more aggressive design. It's a lot sharper. I went up the time attack. And then of course, you also get two battle arrow stickers for those end plates. So secondly, you'll get the first bracket here. So this is the one that goes on your roof and this connects onto the wing. So it's like a support, support brace mounts up like this. And then you will get, of course, your actual spoiler brackets right here. So they mount up, yeah, they mount up in this orientation like this. <laughs> if I can hold this properly. If it mounts up like this, this goes on the other bracket piece. I'll show you guys here shortly. Very nice finish on these. I believe they are powder coated, so it's pretty neat. Another piece. Now this is the last bracket piece. This is the piece that goes behind your license plate. And of course, I didn't unwrap this yet, but we have the actual wing right here. As you can see, very nicely packaged. I'm gonna unwrap this quick and I'll show you guys more closely what I went with. All right, so here's the wing itself. So this is the 66 inch version. Now I believe Battle Arrow offers three different variants. So we have 62, 66, and 72. So I opted for the 66. I didn't want anything too wide. Also, I didn't want anything too narrow. So I just went with the middle ground here. Hopefully it's not too wide for this car. I think it should be fine. I'm gonna mock it up here quick. But I mean, there's really no going back anyway. So what is here is here. So end plates bolt up to the end, of course. Uh, hardware is already there. so there's it just looks like some Phillips heads. And if I flip this around, gloss black finish by the way. Um, not the best paint job, but I mean, it's, it's fine I guess. So here's the bottom part. So this bracket right here is where those tall brackets I showed you guys earlier will mount to. Looks like you got a couple options for mounting holes. How you want to orient and tilt, I assume. So hopefully, we can get this looking pretty good. Ideally, I do want something that slopes down. I feel like it would match the lines of the car better, but of course we'll see. This wing doesn't come with any install instructions and there's a lot of hardware. So I'm gonna lay it all out for you guys and for myself to see what goes where and what is included. Hopefully everything is in the bag. But yeah, it really should be an easy install. I'm still trying to figure out how structurally sound this is gonna be, but yeah, let's go lay out the hardware. All right, so here's all the hardware. Um, we got these big bolts here. There are 14 of these big bolts. Got these bigger nuts here. Uh, I got 15 of those. There are two bigger washers. It looks like there are 26 of these small washers, nine of these smaller washers. Got four of these small nuts and four of these bolts that have a hex head on them. Okay, I hope that's everything. I mean, I don't think I dropped anything. If I did, then I um, hope I can find those bolts, but we're gonna first start off by taking off the wing. This is very easy. I have four bolts under here, and we're also gonna take off the license plate area and see what's going on there.
All right, guys, the wing is now installed. I'm all sweaty, it's super hot in here, but check it out. Oh my goodness. This thing is quite massive, not gonna lie. It's hard to tell in the garage since you know there's so much going on, but there it is, how it lines up with the fender. Pretty much in line, doesn't really stick out past the side of the car as much, but definitely, definitely sticks out. <laughs> wow, guys, look at that. Brackets installed, everything like that. Let's try to the front of the car. Oh, man. This is gonna look crazy. So there is the end plate. So it's just pretty much as wide as the car. It is 66 inches wide. So that is what it looks like here on this narrow body Impreza. Pretty sweet. I think I'm definitely glad I went with the 66 and not the 62. I think 62 would have looked just a little bit too small. Wow, this is insane. I never thought my car would have this but now it does. So I know I didn't do a full walkthrough on how to install it. That's because this kit actually doesn't really fit this car. Uh, I did buy the WRX kit and I assumed it was gonna line up with, you know, the spoiler holes, but unfortunately it really doesn't. So I didn't wanna show an improper way of installing it. Pretty much I have this center brace wedged in between the wing which is what it's designed to do. Although on WRX, there are four holes that will line up with it, but unfortunately on mine, it didn't quite line up. So ended up just really flanning it. Um, I have some double-sided tape where it meets the hatch and I have some stronger bolts and I really don't see it being a problem. As you can see, hardly any flex or anything. I'm actually moving the car doing that. So under load, under, you know, high winds and going down the freeway, I think we should be fine. Uh, I think most of the work really comes from this license plate bracket area. However, I will say the install is pretty easy. Uh, there are no instructions, but I think it's pretty easy to figure out. So there's only a couple pieces here. So first piece is obviously you have your wing deck right here that is separate as you guys saw in the unboxing. Here are your two end plates. You have these braces here that connect onto to this bracket behind the license plate. So you would have to remove your stock license plate screws and also those little inserts that hold the screws and then the bolts that they supply, they should fit through no problem. Then over here, each bolt has two washers and a nut on everything. So the big, the big bolts here, two of them there, two of them there, four of them there. You get some smaller ones here when you mount the deck onto this brace. It's, it's a small nut there, washer, washer, and then the head is a hex head. So this brace, you got a nut there, washer, washer, and then the bolt itself, same on the other side. And that's really it guys for the install. Now on your WRX, if you're watching this and you don't have this Impreza like this, I believe that bracket, the four holes, your stock spoiler, either your, your bolt holes will line up or the stud sticking out, not sure how it's mounted on the WRX, but I think you get the point. And then you would obviously just bolt it back down and then this, bracket here brace or whatever is wedged in between the wing so just based on my observation this center brace really just helps it from moving side to side because just this alone it was pretty flimsy but this helps it support it doesn't really move side to side and also front to back so this is very stable uh, i'm gonna go over and torque everything back down just to make sure it's all tight but yeah guys that's really it it's not hard at all uh, i thought it would be pretty difficult obviously it doesn't fit this car but i think the way i did it Shouldn't give me any issues. I will be removing the spoiler again to repaint it or wrap it, but uh, for right now, I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Definitely stuck to bring this outside just to see. It was supposed to rain all day, but as you can see, it's nice and sunny. I gotta put the battle arrow sticker there. I'm not sure how I wanna line it up. Probably something like that, it's really pretty cool. So I just tore everything back down or checked to make sure everything was tight. Took off the wing riser cable. So now the hatch goes up pretty high. I forgot how high it used to go, but yeah, everything's pretty solid. Got our arrow stickers on both sides. It's pretty exciting, but I'm gonna clean up here. I'm gonna go out and take some nice photos and videos. Uh, it might be a little too sunny to wash the car. I don't want it to, to, you know, have any water spots or whatnot, but yeah. 
everything is good. All right, so it's actually the next day from when I filmed the last clip. I actually realized I installed the wing backwards, so definitely I was aware of that. So here's how the wing is supposed to sit with the curved end facing the back of the car. Uh, that's definitely the way it's supposed to be, and of course it looks better that way anyway because the wing curves nicely with the battle arrow. So initially when I had it this way, uh, the wing was slanting upwards for some reason. Uh, I couldn't really figure out why. I was messing around with these bolts here, but I had them positioned to where uh, they would be the most slanted and there was really no other option to do. But what I ended up doing is I flipped it back around and I actually made my own bracket. So this bracket back here, it's just some piece from Lowe's. It, it just, I don't know what you guys use it for, but anyway, I cut it in half, drilled two holes, and then I was able to raise up this rear end here so that it would give it that angle. And now, although it's not, you know, a nice slant, at least it's not going upwards, you know what I mean. So actually, I think it looks pretty good, just how it sits right here. Definitely before, it did not look like this. So probably in the future, I'm gonna make this piece a little longer, just so I can get some more, more angle on it. But for right now, Definitely pretty happy with how it is. So at this point, I'm just waiting for the comments because I know this is not everyone's cup of tea. Definitely wasn't mine at first, but it kind of grew on me, I think. Yeah, check it out. This angle right here is crazy looking. I don't know. Uh, it's just uh, so aggressive. I think it adds a nice, you know, balance to the car. The rear end was kind of lacking and I guess having aero or I think it just bounces it, bounces it out a little bit better. Yeah, I know it's crazy looking, guys, but I'm definitely a fan. Just imagine some new wheels on there, some square fitment, you know, and it's gonna be crazy. But give you guys a nice side shot here, the overall side profile, and then of course the rear. So once again, this is the 66 inch battle arrow wing and uh, so it's pretty much just as wide as the car, if not a little bit wider. Hard to get a good you know, feel for it on camera, but it's pretty much in line with that rear quarter panel. So just driving around with it, I mean, you gotta be careful, you know, drive-throughs or narrow spaces, of course, but honestly, it still feels like I don't really have a wing back there, which is good. I don't wanna have any more added stress of driving with this thing on, but it definitely breaks a lot of necks just from driving yesterday. It's, I think a lot of people are just like, what, what the heck is that thing? But I don't know, guys. It might not be everyone's favorite thing, but it's definitely mine, so that's really all that matters, honestly. guys thank you guys so much for watching definitely let me know what you guys think about the new wing whether you like it you hate it think it's rice it's stupid i don't i don't know i'm curious to know uh, it's definitely one of my favorite mods i've done i think it's one of those things where when i first put it on i knew just right down there that this was the right choice some some mods i've done on this car i've always had to second guess or kind of i, I didn't like it at first but this particular mod I think it was instant gratification. So I'm definitely excited. Uh, it's definitely gonna make the car a lot more aggressive. Uh, once I get the new wheels set up, it's gonna be crazy. I'm super, super excited about that. As some of you guys may know, I added some new products to Katana Style. We have three slap stickers now and four different circle uh, cut stickers just for you guys right now. So on this video, we do have a Memorial Day weekend sale, but of course my YouTube supporters you guys can use YT20 for 20% off your order, um, just exclusively for my YouTube supporters. So feel free to cop a sticker. We accept PayPal now, so it's gonna be a lot easier to check out. But yeah, guys, stay tuned for the next video. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but hopefully the header is coming soon, and I'll love to film that for you guys, give you guys an install video for that. So anyway, I'm tired, it's hot outside. Um, disheveled, I need a haircut, you know, all of, all those kind of things, but I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for your support. Follow me on Instagram, will.kgfx. Check out Katana Style, my own personal lifestyle and apparel brand. We got stickers, 
right now, but hoping to move into apparel and car accessories and all that fun stuff. But only time will tell. So if you guys like to support, head to katanastyle.com, use code YT20 for 20% off at checkout, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.